Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. This is Stranger Palooza. We're at the 2022 Overland Expo East, and we're actually in the Aeon RV booth. I guess we could call it a booth. Yes, it's Outdoor a booth. booth. I want to remind you that we have these Vanasaur t-shirts and a new one is out. This is Campfire by Moonlight. New Vanasaur t-shirt, that's how you pronounce that if you're a fan of Class B camper vans, whether it's Sprinter, Promaster, or the Transit. You can get these t-shirts, show your love for that, and support Stranger Palooza. And we don't have any like logos or anything like that on it, plus you can get Stranger Palooza t-shirts. If you look down here in YouTube, there's a store down there. You can check out the store, get this and other designs. And from Lola and myself, who did all the work designing this, uh, thanks very much. See you on the next one. And we're with Jim. Yeah, Jim Ritchie. Jim Ritchie, yeah. are you, you're the owner. I'm the CEO of the company. CEO, there you go. Now this is very cool. I have a Ford Transit all-wheel drive. Great. This is built off of that, but do you want to explain to the folks exactly what we're looking at? Sure, yeah, we're looking at a, uh, a new all-season electric off-road new and modern RV, mm -hmm. and it's built on a Ford Transit all-wheel drive. Mm -hmm. uh, we build on the 350, the one ton. Mm -hmm. uh, we get these from Ford as a cutaway chassis, right. and then we build this entire box as well as do a bunch of suspension upgrades to make it more off road capable okay we, yeah and so we, when you when you say all electric i heard someone else asking the chassis side is gas powered that's correct but the the actual i don't know what you guys call it coach side the box box is all electric it's all electric okay. in the sense of we don't use propane for uh cooking right. uh, we heat with uh, either free energy from the engine coolant lines okay. uh, for hot water or electric okay. and we have a very efficient mini split for air conditioning that we can run off the batteries pretty much 24 7 as long as you want okay. and we also use that for heating um, and as a primary heating source so okay. the idea is to have kind of an all-electric coach with a very advanced electrical system and the battery capacity and the uh, uh, capacity to actually recharge everything mm -hmm. uh, to make it all electric for the coach side Oh, okay. So I noticed you're wearing a Battleborn hat, so I'm going to assume, <laughs> plus I was speaking to your lovely wife, you've got Battleborn batteries We are. In here. So we're, okay. we're, our manufacturing and the company is located in Reno, Nevada. Mm -hmm. I've been working with Battleborn for a couple of years now, so mm -hmm. they're a great partner. Mm -hmm. So we obviously have to, you know, yes. rep Battleborn because they're in Reno too. So. Right. I've been up to <laughs> Reno to visit the factory. We have uh, Battleborn batteries in our van. Okay. So that's very cool. Do you have a generator that charges these batteries? Nothing, no, right? No generator. Just solar panels? We have 700 watts of solar on the okay. roof, Okay. Uh, but we also charge off the standard 250 amp alternator and we do that in a kind of a unique way for mm -hmm. a commercial van we use a second charging uh, inverter mm -hmm. so we uh, we can pull off about up to 160 amps off right. the 12 volt system we convert it to 120 and then we convert it back to 24 volt to charge our electrical system because our electrical system is a 24 volt battery system okay. uh, and primary er inverter and it's all Victron energy equipment. Okay, so there's no second alternator but you have two uh, battery to battery chargers that are yeah. running simultaneously. It's, it's a battery to battery charger in the sense but we, it's not a direct battery to battery okay. and because we go 12 to 24 volt we found that to be more uh, efficient to use a second inverter right. and we're getting uh, we can pull off about 15 to 1600 watts per you know hour of energy wow. uh, and uh, works great. So you great. can charge it back up pretty fast. Yeah pretty okay. fast add okay. in the solar at you know five to six hundred watts uh, off the 700 watt solar and yeah you can easily be charging back like at this time of day at uh, you know 2,000 watts per hour so if right. you know the, the nominal battery bank is an 8.4 kilowatt hour battery bank right and so you you know we normally don't take it down any more than 50 percent and that's including cooking with induction you know running computers air conditioning all of that so we can charge it back typically in a couple hours oh, okay uh, now also I noticed what what's going to help with that is insulation so since you've got this box here you can I mean yeah also what how's how's the insulation I'll let you well, give me the yeah spiel yeah so what we think we're about five times better insulated than a typical van build mm -hmm. or a typical RV. Okay. We're built out of fiberglass reinforced panels 
um, and they have a, an R value of roughly R7 per inch. Okay. And uh, the other thing is it's airtight, which okay. you can't do in a van, nor would you want to do in a van because your van would rust out. They're, they're actually designed to breathe right. as moisture forms inside. Yes. But this can be an airtight. In fact, it's so airtight, we recommend people crack the window. And so mm -hmm. overall, when we calculate out, calculate it out manually, uh, this, even with the doors and all the openings, it calcs out to about R15. Um, okay. So you have a very, like, for instance, a super insulated door here. Yeah, very thick. Uh, very thick insulation. Yeah. And then uh, I noticed, we're going to go inside. Actually, Lola's going to go inside with you guys. I noticed the bathroom's right here. That's a good use of space. Yeah, we just yeah. That we felt that was a use of space. It's mm -hmm. designed um, not only as your bathroom, but we like to do a lot of stuff where we get wet and dirty. So mm -hmm. you can actually clean off out here with the shower. Um, mm -hmm. I'll show you this real quick. The shower comes off, so you can wash off okay. outside. Um, you can uh, clean your pet or your feet off here. Right, yeah. And this is also you meant to be a mudroom, mm -hmm. so you can leave your dirty gear in here. And then finally, it's actually a gear drawing room. You can actually pull this across and hang gear in here. We have ducted heat right here. Okay. So you can actually dry gear in here and just suck all the moisture out uh -huh. using the fan. Okay. Yeah. So Good idea. Yeah. So, so it's, it's very well insulated. Absolutely. Um, I like to make my videos thorough for anyone who's looking. We actually put up a menu you guys could skip through. Let's go around the outside gym and then you and Lolo will go through the inside. Sure. Let's see what you've done here. Obviously right here you've got a little table. Yeah, this is an option. You don't mm -hmm. have to have it, but we use it a lot. It's a full down table. Yeah, we'll, le we'll leave that there. If folks want to uh, use their cell phone, you can get more info, right? <laughs> yeah, and it's also designed so you can cook outside. So mm -hmm. we use electric induction cooking and the cooktop can plug right into a plug there and we just run it out here and oh, put it here. Okay. And then we also have a, a an optional uh, moon shade that goes up here. So we end up cooking outside a lot and just, oh, okay. yeah, it's kind of nice. Oh, very cool. Um, so what did you guys do with the underneath of the chassis here? Did yeah. you do anything to yeah, make that more did, robust? Yeah, we did. So we're partnered with Van Compass. Mm -hmm. And so we use Van Compass. We put on an extra leaf spring pack that uh, gives us just much more stability. And it also okay. gives us a two and a half inch lift. Uh, we right. put in uh, custom uh, shocks um, from Falcon and an, a, a new leaf uh, coil spring on the front. Mm -hmm. And uh, that gives us an overall two to two and a half inch lift. Oh, yeah. And then we also put all-terrain tires um, and a skid plate on it. So okay. we moved the shock mounts up. So now this, the uh, differential is the lowest point, but we put a, a, a thick steel skid plate on that so that you can go off-road and you'd hit that yeah. if you, instead of hitting anything else yeah. that you worry about. From the outside, this looks like an earth roamer, just a mini version of it, more manageable. <laughs> We kind of, yeah, so that's actually, uh, we have some <laughs> jokes about that. I'm not sure I'll share here, but uh -oh. yeah, it's kind of like a mini earth roamer, but, uh, you know, uh, yeah. a lot less money. So yeah. Yeah. In, in this case, uh, the reverse of size matters, right? Yeah. We tried, it's, it's 22 feet long, which yeah. is the size of a full size, uh, yeah. transit van. And we wanted to keep it at that size for, right. uh, daily driver if you wanted to to park in regular parking spots and also importantly there's a number of uh, roads and national parks and ferries in canada that you really want to keep it at 22 feet so for those reasons yeah, yeah you can get on board so what kind of uh what kind of water you know black tank all that kind of stuff do you guys yeah have? so this is designed really to be an off-grid vehicle so okay. you have a lot of water capability you can mm. take up to 67 gallons of fresh water okay um wow. and uh and uh, eight gallons of that would be stored in the hot water tank and then 59 gallons in the fresh water tank system. Oh, okay. Um, and so your, your shower could be eight gallons. Your shower, it's actually more than that because that's okay. eight gallons that's heated to 195 degrees. Uh -huh. And then that mixes down to about 15 gallons of usable water. Uh -huh. Yeah, and it's continually right, refilling off the fresh water yeah, and if you and, want to, if you want to burn through. Yeah, you, yeah. you know, we still uh, recommend and we take kind of the Navy style shower. Right, exactly. Yeah, that's the way to go. Yeah, but that's no, the way to go. Yes. Yeah. If for whatever crazy reason you were just doing one day, you yeah. could do it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's keep walking around this way. I'll grab the camera. Um, so we've, you've got, what do you guys call this? A garage we back here? We call this a gear garage. Okay. Um, and this was a key thing we wanted to have in the vehicle because we have you know, expensive bikes and skis mm -hmm. and things like that where we want to store them inside and this is mm -hmm. all inside. Right. Uh, it's heated um, and it's also got, you know, insulated doors uh, and secure doors that are lockable so you can put all your, you know, nice toys and, and keep them in, inside instead of hanging them off the back where they may mm -hmm. get, you know, uh, stolen or get too right. dirty, that kind of thing. Yeah, very important. And it's, it's designed so you can fit 
Uh, we've had uh, two modern mountain bikes and a road bike in here at the same time. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of our customers just brought over his tandem bike and mm -hmm. was able to fit in here. Yeah. Um, so it's really designed for whatever gear you'd like to put in there. Yeah, I think I was talking to those guys. They said they didn't have to break down the bike in order to get it in Yeah, here. exactly. They just took off the uh, front wheel. Yeah, let's keep going this sure. way. Sure. Is this AC back here? Yeah, so one of the unique things that we're doing to make this more thermally efficient is we use a mini split. Oh, this air is conditioner, okay. oh, cool. which is about two times more efficient than the mm -hmm. traditional rooftop RV mm -hmm. uh, air conditioner. But even more importantly, it's super quiet. It's about five to ten times quieter. Okay. Um, and so we use this for primarily for cooling, but we also use it for heating. Mm -hmm. This will heat down to minus 13 Fahrenheit. Um, and uh, we can use it as for heating as well. And then we have these uh, L tracks back here. Yeah, so, that's great. Yeah, so and they're they're actually uh, in structure we designed in this wall, so they're you can mm -hmm. hang other gear on here. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, extra. It can take some good weight. Yeah, it can take some it. weight. Yeah. And, and then we have a custom uh, brush guard bumper and a mm -hmm. hitch, which is a class yeah, I, I, three hitch. I, I, oh, okay. Um, and it has a tongue weight up to 450 pounds. So a couple of our customers are blinding to carry dirt bikes on the back. But, okay. And, and, uh, and also has recovery points where if you ever got stuck, you could get someone to pull you out. Oh, okay. Can you do any kind of towing with this? Oh, yeah. I can okay. tow up to uh, uh, up to 4,500 pounds. Okay. Um, if it's just a person really but mm. if you're at max uh, gross vehicle weight rating you can tow 3500 pounds 3500 yeah. oh okay yeah. that's not bad yeah so it's yeah. you know you can tow a boat yeah. it's and it's tough enough to take our scooters <laughs> <laughs> and then you know one of the cool things is you can access this from both sides yeah, so right. Yeah, so you can uh, access it. To, and it's also designed for skis and things like that. So one of the things that we've done is this L track you can use for tying down things, but mm -hmm. it's also designed uh, in the winter, like I can put an extra shelf that slides across so I can store my skis and stuff up here oh, okay. and still have plenty of storage. And then I can right. take that out when I want to store or bring bikes or things like that. So these are the water tanks right here. These are the water tanks. Okay. Um, we also have um, ducted air here. This is designed as actually, uh, you know, as a skier, I want my boots nice and warm so I can put my boots here in the morning and oh, turn on that ducted heat and have air. But this is really inside. So yeah. it's going to be at the same pretty much the same ambient temperature as the inside anyway. Okay, is this where you fill? Uh, yeah, it fills right here. It's gravity fill. Okay. And you just, it's locked. Okay. The same as this, so it's a key locking. Same you key. Put, yeah, you just put it oh, in cool. here. Okay. And then we do have shore power, even though mm -hmm. we don't use it much. Right. Uh, well, you know, there's not a lot of opportunities, <laughs> maybe at home. Yeah, exactly. Right. If you're home or something, yeah. we do have a, a standard 30 amp plug that plugs mm -hmm. in here and we give you the, the cables come with it and you can charge your batteries off shore power when you're okay, at home. That's cool. And then yeah. this is an optional box. This is a uh, aluminum powder coated semi truck box, but mm -hmm. people want this for carrying like tools or yeah. anything that's really dirty. Uh, they don't want to put inside or some mm. people we offer uh, our standard toilet cassette toilet oh yeah also, cassette toilet in yeah there. you oh, can carry an extra cassette more, yeah, yeah so, so you, you can get, get out there more. yeah you can get out there more yeah exactly. right oh that's cool okay i was a spare tire yeah that was going to be my question uh spare tire yeah, under the there spare tires there and that actually is on a crank down so it's easy to get down you don't okay. lift anything heavy you just crank you just down, drop it and, and drag, drag it out drag it out okay since you built the box you could put some really good windows in here you've got the dual pane yes i don't know if what specific product it is yeah so we work with uh turn overland these are their okay. arctic turn windows okay and it's a dual pane window mm -hmm. and it's an awning style so you can lock it out in different places and it's got integrated bug screens and integrated block out shades mm -hmm. which we really like and really like the windows so we use those windows mm -hmm. um in exclusively okay yeah very nice so and then just out here obviously this is gas powered right it's gas powered it has okay. the uh twin turbo uh, EcoBoost, so mm -hmm. it's the 3.5 liter engine, lots of power, mm -hmm. and the 10-speed uh, transmission, so it drives great on the freeway as well as going off-road, and with the intelligent all-wheel drive system for Ford, it's been actually a pretty good performer where you'd want to take a box this big. <laughs> yeah, I have I have a Transit, I love it, yeah. I don't think I could drive any yeah. other thing. Well, the one so. thing we do do on this, mm -hmm. uh, then you wouldn't find probably a most traditional like RV builds right. is we outfit it with leather seats, 10-way nice. power, heated yeah. seats. Very and, nice. <laughs> and all the latest for Yeah, uh, that you're only going to get in a Sprinter. Yeah. <laughs> so that's great. So yeah. you guys upfit that. Yeah, we, we put on all the latest uh, safety features okay. and all the high-end um, 
uh, cameras, all kinds of things from that you can get from Ford. Oh, okay. Ford Standard. Oh, okay. Very cool. And what about this color? This is kind of a gray. Yeah, I this is say? actually uh, it comes standard in their their Oxford white from mm -hmm. Ford, but this is an upgrade. This is. Ford's avalanche gray, and then oh. we paint match it, so it's okay. in the, uh, an avalanche gray is yeah. the color, and it yeah. makes a nice color. This looks good. Uh, obviously, we're about to go inside, but for folks who are interested in this, what's the you know what's the cost yeah, of so entry? Pretty much fully loaded. It's one hundred ninety nine thousand five hundred. Okay. There are a few options we talked about, but mm -hmm. you know most people are only maybe investing three to five thousand dollars in options. So okay. generally, an out the door would be about yeah. two hundred five for most people. That's not bad. That's right in the realm of like your luxury class B. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Except yeah. you've got you know better insulation, bigger space going on with this. Yeah, that's so, what we're targeting, kind of. Yeah. No, that's very cool. Do you guys finance? Um, well. We're not offering financing, but because mm -hmm. we're a standard RV manufacturer, mm -hmm. um, you can go and get financing, unlike, say, a custom uh, van build or something right. like that we'll, with NADA or JD Powers. You know, they'll give you a blue book value and you right. can just go get financing from any RV manufacturer. We'll pre-set that up with a number of RV oh, okay. manufacturers. Do you have a dealership network or now, people get, get it directly now, so from our you? business model for sales and support okay. is direct to consumer. And that's one of the one things we wanted to do, to do is really control the user experience and provide right. a high level of support directly from the factory. Okay. And we're going to be expanding uh, our own uh, service and support centers across the country as we expand, oh, cool. as well as offering mobile support. Yeah. Um, Let me know when you come to Florida when you yeah, set up something. Yeah, in definitely, definitely. Uh, very interested in this. Okay, so now, since this, I think this belongs to someone, so we got to take our shoes off. Yeah, yeah, and this go is uh, going to a customer on Monday. Yeah. All right, let's start right here, Jim, at the entry slash bathroom. I don't know what you guys, what do you call this? We call it the entry slash bathroom. Okay, there you go. <laughs> we also call Very it intuitive. a mud room, mud room uh, and yeah. a gear drying room, so yeah. it's really a function for all of those. Right. But this is your shower and your bathroom, your toilet. We've got a full down sink, so you know when you're not using that, you can right. get that out of the way. Yeah, that's cool. Um, light, and when you're showering, you can pull this shower curtain across. We also use that if you want. Uh, say you have guests coming over and maybe you don't want them to see that for some reason you can just put that across Talking when people are coming over yeah. and then here it has a shower door which is self-cleaning and you can just close that oh. you know and that's how when you're showering okay this is cool and then obviously that's a shower pan down there one of the questions i would ask about this is what do you guys do with drainage obviously people are getting off road do you have self-leveling what do you guys do well, the drainage is very simple. There's a okay. this is a shower pan right there with a drain, and it goes. It's just a straight into the gray water tank. So okay. very so simple, just gravity, gravity drop, gra yeah, okay. gravity straight in. What I notice is from the cabin, there's an entry point. Right. So you can lock that off. Or? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So this is kind of a different thing, and I will say, excuse us, this white is here just to protect the, the floor from the messing customer. it up. Yeah. yeah so. Um, this door was kind of a really a game changer for us in the sense that it's a lockable door, but it's also insulated. Right. So most of the, you know, you probably know most of the kind of heat <laughs> or cool and also condensation yeah. forms on the window. Yes. With this, this eliminates all that. You can just shut the, you can just close this door and it also locks. Yeah, so you now just, you have a smaller space that you're in. Yeah, and it's cooler. also insulated. So that keeps all the heat and from all the cool from coming into your living space. Yeah. Um, and that yeah. really turns out to be kind of yeah. a game changer. No, that's good too. And then you could always, of course, put something in the windows and block those you could. off. You and could. then use that for storage. When you, yeah, well, we don't yeah. even find that's necessary. Yeah. And then this allows really? it to mm -hmm. hold in place. And you can also lock it closed while you're driving if you want. Oh, okay. No, that is very cool. And then right here is the fridge. Yeah, this is a Marine 24-volt. Uh, fridge from mm -hmm. Vitra Frigo. Yeah. So we wanted a large fridge that was easy to access, right. didn't bend over, stoop over, yeah, and right. a full freezer right. where we could store a lot of frozen stuff. So that's, that's something a lot of RV folk are concerned about. You know, either you just get a fridge maybe this size with the freezer right. included in it. Yeah. So, this so and this is very efficient and these doors are really nice. They just lock. And then up here, mm -hmm. um, we, this is actually an appliance storage garage, so we can actually store like three, you know, appliances up here. So we'll put oh, like a super deep. Yeah. So yeah. we'll put like a, you know, a toaster oven or oh, okay. a, you know, a little pressure cooker or mm -hmm. you know, whatever you want. You can store those up mm -hmm. there. And then down here for cooking, 
you've got a big slide out, slide out for large pots and pans and, and such. And then finally over here, this is kind of, we travel with animals, a lot of people do. So this is designed to be a flip up uh -huh. with a little pull out right. where you can actually put Get your water bowl. Yeah, water bowls. You can make cutouts in here and put, right. you know, or if you don't have animals, it's just more yeah. storage. Right. Yeah, so that's... Well, I mean, if you have a cat that likes to hide away somewhere too. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can tuck them in there. Yeah, you could either I've put... i that. Yeah, you could either use a, you could probably put a cat litter there or you right. could actually put one in the back Mm -hmm. And we have a way where you could actually cut a hole from here to into the back so the cat could go into a cat litter uh, box back there. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So um, I like the use of you've got hooks around and yeah, stuff hooks, like that. Yeah, I've these fold that. down. Yeah, those are always convenient. And you can put more. We just put a few up because we don't know how many people want. Yeah. One of our design philosophies is we keep it pretty simple, mm -hmm. but we only use fiberglass and anodized aluminum and stainless steel from mm -hmm. all the way from screws to uh, our connectors on the electrical, but we also keep it very open from a kind of a color and palette with the mm -hmm. idea that it's user modifiable and Customize user ties it. a must of, yeah, that's one of our design yeah. goals. And yeah. that's from, uh, if you want to add extra electrical components, extra color, you know, right. the seats, we don't put things like tape, uh, paper towel holders up because you, you know, people want to do different ones or right. spice racks. So yeah. it's all bent to be really easy for users to add and customize it how they want it. Right. I, I asked you about the batteries. Did you give me the amp hours? Uh, well, it's 24 volts. Okay. So it would be the equivalent, the standard battery would be the equivalent of 600 amp hours. 600 so it's six. Hours. Battleborn, but we it's all it's all set up as a 24 volt system, okay. and okay. you could upgrade that to the equivalent of a, a thousand amp hours at 24 volts. Oh, okay. I think, and I'm not really good with that stuff, but I've heard more people want to go to 24 volts. Well, once you correct? go, once you really go over like 3,000 watts, mm -hmm. or you know, say 4,000 watts of power. There's a lot of reasons uh, for efficiency, safety, okay. that it makes more sense to go to 24 volts. And since we have a high power electrical system and we run everything off electrical, it just made more sense to go uh, 24 volt. Now we do run some of the low power things like our LED lights. Mm -hmm. And I just realized I'd actually had, I was in here with this customer and I turned off the power. So oh, okay. I'm going to turn it back on, <laughs> hopefully and uh, turn the inverter back on. Let's see, did I turn this back on? Yes. Um, let's see, are these back on? No. Where are the batteries? Oh yeah, so the batteries are all stored under They're here. They're all down here. Yeah. Okay, and you would access that from outside or no, in No, no, no. Everything's oh. inside. So yeah, everything's, everything's inside. inside. That's why it's all season. It's all season. So okay. you can just take these screws off and access the batteries. Mm -hmm. And you can also access the full electrical right here. Uh -huh. And uh, and you can see it's oh, all. Oh, I see. Here's all, your inverter. Yeah, it's all Victron it's, yep. equipment. Right. Um, and I was actually going to turn. Uh, oh, you have to switch it on here. Well, it's because I was showing the customer yeah. how to turn it off, and then I yeah. forgot to turn back on. Right. So you can actually turn on the. Uh, oh, this is cool. You can volt. access all of this yeah, relatively so, easily. Yeah. Here. So I yeah. just had the 12 volt turned off. The 24 volt mm -hmm. was still running. And so yeah. here's your main fuse panel and the uh, breakers here, so it's mm. easy to access, they're all labeled. Your, your 120 side, your mm. 12 volt side, and then we run direct off 24 volt, the fridge and the water pump, but all the other low power uh, DC consumers, we run at 12 volt, because they generally run better that way. Yeah, and right. then here are your batteries. So you've got six 100 amp hour batteries. This this customer actually got an upgrade, so okay. we got eight. You have eight. <laughs> okay, so you eight. can go up if you need to. <laughs> yeah, you can go up to 10. Okay. Yeah, you can go up to 10 and have 13 kilowatts of storage. So okay. lots of uh, battery storage. Okay, um, that's cool. Yeah, and then the- uh, I need all the amp hours, Jim. <laughs> all wanna... <laughs> the amp hours. <laughs> the guys from Battleborn are tired of hearing me say that, I'm sure. Yeah, they, they, they're, they love us. <laughs> yeah, they're good folks, you know, yeah. for people who, um, People who are worried about getting into this setup on their own, obviously you guys are building so you understand how to do this, but they help folks out. Like oh, they yeah. helped me oh, out yeah. a lot yeah, they, to upgrade my system. They have system. great tech support that are yeah. very knowledgeable. So. Yeah, there are awesome folks there. So you can have access to all of this here. Is there anything under this one? Yeah, so that's, uh, we actually have a S-bar gas heater too, as a, okay. as a that plums right into the gas tank and that's okay. stored under there. And there's also uh, an aluminum frame we designed that gives okay. you full, like certified seat belts. Okay, so, so you can seat belt yeah, two people. Yeah, here. and it's okay. an aluminum 
frame that's tied straight into the steel oh. of the floor. So it's yeah. very, you know, it's that's very the benefit of, of building this box. You can do that. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. We custom designed all that and okay. engineered that and, right. and built And so all that. the the S bar heater is not is how's that work? It's working off of the heat. It's working off the gas, so it's it's a it's a gas heater, air heater that's mm -hmm. ducted th right there. So it's ducted. using the gasoline. Yeah, and it okay. pulls, just uses the gasoline, and it's okay. all controlled right here with this little. Oh, okay. So that's right similar there. to the, they have some similar systems to that in diesel. Yeah. So this is a gas. This version. is the gas version oh, cool. of that. Okay. The diesel version. Oh, cool. All right. So does that create a comfortable heat? Uh, it creates a very comfortable heat. Now, kind of unique to this, because this box is so well insulated. Mm -hmm. We only use that when it's say we let it get down really cold inside. We come in and we'll blast that on, or if we yeah. want to dry gear. And then once mm -hmm. we get up to say the temperature we want, say 70 degrees, a lot of times we'll just turn it off and then yeah. turn on the heat pump and oh. just use that electrically to just maintain the temperature because yes. it will maintain the temperature very quietly, very comfortably with really not using very much energy at all. Yeah, uh, electrical ener energy. Yeah. So we have. A I agree with that unique because system. that could probably that could probably bump up your heat really fast and yeah. then get too warm. Yeah. So it's better to yeah. just maintain. Yeah, you know, it. yeah, that's exactly yeah. right. So we have multiple sources. If you're super cold, so you're camping up in Canada in the winter and it's minus 20 out. Yeah. You may want to use the S bar right. to keep it. You know, but if you're you know 40 degrees. You get it up to 70 you can just turn that on mm -hmm. and that heat pump will work down to minus 13 fahrenheit oh that's a good idea i know last night lola and i went through that that you know she we have propane heat and she was like put propane on so when i put it on it was too much yeah so it's good to have something that yeah. maintains it exactly. and balances it out that's exactly. very nice yeah. so let's go to the galley here so this is your galley it's a solid surface countertop uh nice deep sink with a little spigot here uh the soap dispenser um, and then we keep this open and because we're using electrical to cook, we use an induction cooktop mm -hmm. and it stores away when you're driving here. Okay. This customer got a dual uh, burner one, but we offer a single one. So just, just yeah, and you just and take it in. out and put it right here or you take it outside and put it outside mm -hmm. to cook. Plugs into here where you have a 20 amp service. Right. So you got plenty of power and that that's where you cook. Um, you've got nice uh, LED lighting here that's dimmable for your task lighting. Mm -hmm. And then here's your main controls for uh, the water heater is a marine style water heater. It's stored under uh, this cabinet here, but you can also back up heat by turning on an electrical element. But using that marine style hot water heater, we actually use free energy mm -hmm. from the engine coolant lines when you're mm -hmm. idling or driving. Mm -hmm. And that'll heat that eight gallon tank I was talking about uh, up to about 195 degrees in about 45 minutes to an hour of running the engine. Mm -hmm. And then you have what it amounts to like free hot water for, right because for, it because it needs to cool down so that heat transfers into well, there, the water there's heat. a mixing valve yeah. so it mixes down to whatever temperature you want uh -huh. mixing with the cold water so you end mm -hmm. up about 15 gallons of usable hot water mm -hmm. which will stay hot in that tank for two or three days easily oh. so you it really we just always have free hot water we don't even yeah. think about it okay and, that's good and but if you did want to heat it uh electrically as a backup for mm -hmm. some reason you can just turn that on and then our gray tank i didn't really talk about that that's mm -hmm. the only water we have outside okay to make it all season but it's in a uh, insulated tank and it's heated two ways so it never freezes oh, okay how uh, big is the gray it's 28 gallons 28. Okay. and uh, you can manually dump it but you can also uh dump it with this switch here mm -hmm. um and you can hook up a standard hose bib to it mm -hmm. and just you know if you're in somewhere like out in the blm land in the desert where you can dump your hot your uh gray water you can just dump press it a button, button press a button and it's, yeah exactly oh, that's good yeah that's good that's great absolutely and then optionally for cooking too uh you can get a microwave this is optional you don't mm -hmm. have to have it and you can put a little microwave up here yeah and then you look here you got lots of storage uh, Very cool. Above you, there's a, a a max fan here. Yeah, and this um, comes with the cover that is a light if you want, oh, okay. or and, and you can also off. shut it Very off nice. if you want. Yeah, is this uh, reversible? Yeah, this is okay. reversible, and it's also controlled with uh, a remote control, uh, just like the air conditioning is controlled with a remote control. It's getting a little warm in here, so I'm going to turn this on mm -hmm. and see. Uh, uh, if the inverter is on, did I turn? Yeah, you're on? also getting free heat from three bodies in here, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and it's warming up outside. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, that's the so galley. That's the galley. Let's uh, let's move on to the. Did we do the table here? And the dinette conversion. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So this so, yeah. Uh, yeah. we have it all open now. I don't, yeah. You know, but this cool. actually um, can convert to a bed uh, with the cushion. This is easy enough, right? Yeah, you can just put those slats back on. 
now slide those on and just, you can just even throw this up like here just so okay, you see yeah. how it works mm -hmm. and then obviously the other cushion goes in the back and then here so it's really a, a dinette that can fit easily two adults mm -hmm. um, but we also have a little option where we call them flip outs there's a pieces in here that can stick go on here with legs and you can extend this out either as a dinette okay or we use it as a lounge where we get a pillow off the bed and then we'll sit with our feet up feet up yeah and then it also extends into a bigger bed so you yeah. can make the bed so you full. can sleep another person yeah, yeah you can sleep like two kids so it's yeah 68 by 44 okay and it's a lagoon tabletop so you can adjust yeah. it and it also mounts here which we use for like a stand-up work desk mm -hmm. or even a, sometimes a serving table will mount it over there yeah yeah no, so very cool. flexible uh and yeah. how you use the dinette lots of cabinetry yeah here. lots of cabinetry um they're all like marine that. grade yeah, you've hinges. got plugs on the inside yeah, uh, on that yeah. side and, that's cool. and this cabinet specifically is designed for putting in your router wire you know routing gear uh starlink there's a port already provided you to run your right own up. cable into cool. the roof yeah with a gland up there yeah. so you don't have to cut any holes yeah you don't have to cut any holes right. it's already for you to that. yeah, yeah. And you can just slam these yeah. it's really just meant to be okay cool yeah. yeah yeah those are pretty uh strong all right so let's go through to where all the magic happens yeah exactly so <laughs> It's a full queen bed. That was right. an important thing that you don't have to make up. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, very comfortable. And people ask, well, how do you get in the bed? Right now we have the stairs deployed. And these are mm -hmm. also large storage bins for like oh, shoes, okay. uh, dirty clothes, extra mm -hmm. clothes, whatever you need. But when you're when you're not in the bed, they, they lock away like this. Oh. oh, I see. And that allows you to access, we didn't show this on the pantry. So. Uh, so you got a nice food pantry here. For, that's great. Yeah, and also um, down here you'll see this is your garbage. So oh. that's easy when you're cooking. You can mm -hmm. just you know access both your food and any waste you need to get rid of. Um, and then large clothes storage here. Big big clothes And so storage. this is going back into that garage area. It is yes. But it's closed in, right? It's you closed in. These drawers. Yes, that correct. Okay. That's correct. Mm -hmm. And then over here you even have hanging storage. Wow. So uh, more storage. Yes. And then, like I said, then when you're ready to get in the bed, um, very easy. You just deploy these stairs. They come out, and they lock into place. And then you can just go up here. Yeah, let's get uh, in the bed. Very oh, easy. that's yeah. So yeah. this way you're sleeping north south in this bed, right? Or is it east west? Yeah, it's east west. It's, it's east -west. a full queen okay. bed. Oh, okay. You know, lots of room. Wow, that is a big bed. And then you've got also awesome. a skylight. Yeah. With uh, shades and Very bug nice. screen, we use a lot, and you know the size motorized, so you can just open oh, so that. you can open that up and get. Oh, that's great. And that's also how you get on the roof. Oh. So to clean off the solar panels, or it's designed for yeah. emergency egress too, oh. if you had to get out in a hurry yeah. for some reason. So right there's the mini split. That's the mini split, and then mm -hmm. heating and cooling. And we moved it. Uh, we move it over here. So we actually use this area as the second place to chill out and lounge mm -hmm. if you want to read. You got reading lights. When you're sleeping, these little cubbies are designed to hold a water bottle or your phone, mm -hmm. uh, book, whatever. Then you got USB and USB, lots of USB parts for charging. And then a window here so you can get cross breeze or just look out and see what's going out. You know, what's the weather happening today? Oh, okay. Yeah, and there's an option to add a second window over here oh, okay. uh, that people want for like a view window. Yeah. That's an option you can add. Park. Yeah. Right, and so there's also storage over yeah. here. Tons of sliding cabinets. storage here yeah. and here, and this is big storage that we use for like typically like, you know, extra blankets, pillows, clothes we're not wearing every day, mm -hmm. coats, things like that. So lots of storage up there too. Yeah. So the thing that I'm looking for, Jim, is where are the AC vents? Uh, it just comes out right oh, it's here. it's just there. Yeah. But okay. it, it completely cools this it off and it, yeah, it com area. yeah it comes out it doesn't need to be vented oh okay and, it, uh, and, that, and, they, and when you're heating here and this is louvered so you can mm -hmm. have it blow up you know down whatever oh. way you want and it can you can adjust it Ch blowing this way but it's designed ball. to blow straight out really oh okay. that's really what it's designed oh, for oh that's very cool that's very cool have we missed anything inside here um i think we've covered all the major points um yeah. you know like i said skylight's yeah. nice this also has a built-in light. I don't, I can't remember if I showed that. I guess if you wanted to hang a TV or something, or like I use iPads. Yes, we use, it, you could just. Yeah, we've actually specifically designed a few places. One is mm -hmm. right here where you can 
put a TV that's under mount and mm -hmm. flips down. You have mm -hmm. power right here for that. Mm -hmm. And then over on that wall, we designed where you could put a, a wall mounted screen that comes out. Oh, okay. And people would use that as a monitor for working mm -hmm. with a stand up desk or yeah. as a TV. Yeah. And, uh, and there's a couple other places you could put them, but those are the two main places I think yeah. most people would want to put. Them. I and like this space. When I look, so I do my podcast out of my van. I always look for like where would I podcast from? Probably right here. Yeah, and you've got space. you've got power. You've got USB yeah. plugs there. Plenty of places to plug in your computer. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, um, down here. Yeah, there's the power, and the plugs, and outlets there. Yeah, and then when you're coming out of bed, you know, at night or whatever. These are actually, uh, these steps here have glow-in-the-dark strips, so oh, you can easily see those. Right. And we give you a little handle here, which, you know, gives mm -hmm. you an extra security. Mm -hmm. I don't need it, but it's all good. It's good to have it. It's good to have. <laughs> it's good to have it. <laughs> so, I don't know if we covered it or not, but we'll do it again. So, here's the, uh, I guess, a garbage can, or you can just use this to store stuff exactly. that you need. I like the fact that there's a window here. <laughs> And you've got the blinds in it. One other thing we have is we have a porch light. Mm -hmm. um, and that's the key thing on that is it's actually switched from in here so you don't have to go inside. And mm -hmm. it's also uh, has the ability to be dimmed. So that's really useful when you're hanging out yeah. outside. Right. So for folks who, I try to keep, you know, my videos very detailed for folks who are looking at this. And Lola spends a lot of time to make a menu you guys can go through. But if the people out there, if they haven't gotten enough information or I've missed something, <laughs> which I do often, where do they go? How do they get in touch with you guys? Yeah, the best thing is to uh, go to our website, mm -hmm. anrv.com. Uh, reach out to us there directly. You can mm -hmm. get information at sales at anrv.com. We also have social media and you can, if you don't want to do our website, you can reach out to us on Instagram okay. or on Facebook. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Jim. Yeah, thank you. I really appreciate you yeah. taking the time. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, I hope you guys appreciate this. We, uh, we're we combing the Overland Expo East 2022 for van stuff and I think this was a really cool van to take a look at. Yeah, we thank appreciate you. Appreciate it. We're out of here. See ya. Bye.